We're live. Hey, everybody. Happy Welcome. Monday. And this is our continuing version of <laughs> our Facebook series, which is Six Figure Networking Secrets. And it's episode episode one. Stephanie, what's going on? Hey, Stephanie. It's really getting the mindset right. Holla. Holla. Holla back at you. Hi, Jen. Melanie, welcome. So yeah, so we are going to kick it off since we told you our why in the last um, episode of you know how we created a six figure business with networking alone. So in how less we than ten months? How we created a six figure business, six figure income in twenty eighteen in ten months or less last year uh, from networking alone. Our website was garbage. It was. Our social media was, was not existent. It was embarrassing. I hated telling people about my website. I'm like, don't. Don't look at it. <laughs> so we're not saying that you want to have all those things. We're just talking about a very specific way to market, grow your business, and networking alone is a fantastic way to do it if you approach it correctly, if you yes. do it right, if you do it with an NLP mindset, which is the psychology of how do you approach it, right? How you communicate. How you communicate. And communicate that was, with excellence. That's what I was just about to say is full disclosure. And we said this in our last episode, we are highly trained in neurolinguistics and we use everything that we teach in our trainings to get empowered, to set up the mindset, right? Absolutely. So setting up your mindset. If you are networking right now and maybe you're asking yourself, man, this just isn't working. I spend a lot of time. I don't get any leads. No one buys for me. Ask yourself, what are you thinking? What are you saying? We're going to go into the details of strategy and how you approach networking, but ask yourself, are you getting results? And what are you thinking as you go into an event? If you're going into an event saying, well, everybody probably doesn't have any money. Nobody has the money. Nobody's Nobody going to buy from me. Um, Nobody cares about what I'm selling. Sucks. You know, this is a waste of time. We hear this a lot. Or, like networking is a lot of time and I don't get the results. Or you're you're approaching it with fear and I'm like, oh, I hope we don't have to get in front of a, a group of people and, you know, give our 30 second pitch or 20 second pitch. Here's the number one thing. When we were most successful and when we still are successful at networking events, we go in with a rock solid certainty of, of success. Confidence confidence and we knowing know. that we're going to connect with the people in the room that we're going to build long lasting relationships where the people are going to be happy to hear what we have to say they're going to be excited in fact one of the things we do and what we want to talk about is we presuppose in our mind we run the movie forward and backwards of us hmm. having success in networking because we set goals and we yes. already are forward thinking that when we get up and talk people are going to listen. Yes. When we get up and say something, we're going to bring value to them, which means we're going to say something that most people don't know about and give them a way to look at their business differently, look at their relationships or look at the way they communicate. And this is like extremely important. I love when I hear from people that go, networking sucks. I don't get any leads. And I'm like, well, with that mindset, you probably won't. No, because you'll project it in your reality. What you believe to be true, which is what you're saying or the story that you tell yourself, <laughs> you will create in your reality. It, literally, the universe is using is like your wish is my command. Yep. If you think it sucks, then it will. And, so. it's, and it's a seed you're planting. Look, not every networking event are you going to go away and be like, wow, 40 people bought my product or service. No, it takes time. The other thing is consistency. Consistency. So we're going to get into grave detail in all these different strategies about consistency, follow up. Gosh, don't get me started on follow up. I could do Facebook lives for days on that. <laughs> you know, will. people give business cards and 90% of the people you walk into a room, there's 60%, 60 people there. 90% of them are never going to follow up and call you back. So if you do, you've already increased your chances by 67% to close someone. You guys realize that? It's hilarious how many networking events I go to and no one follows up. And the one call you do make, if you make two or three, you're already probably in the 80 percentile of being successful. So we're going to get into all these strategies. If you really want to create business now, today, you need leads, your business is struggling, you're not making the kind of money you want, you're not covering your base, your monthly base for bills and, and, and debt and all that, then we got to start changing our mindset. We got to focus on the things we want, which is successful networking that presupposes you're going to get what you want. Which is adopting the belief that the networking will be successful, that the people want to hear what you have to say. In fact, it's going to be your, the room is going to be full of people that are buyers, 
right? That people have the money. They're going to see the value in it. If you go in with that confidence, if you go in with that mindset, that programming going on in the back of your mind, you will create that. And so many people damn the flow of their own money, their own yes. prosperity. And as soon as you put that out there in the world that you're going to damn your own money, guess what? Nobody wants to buy from you. And that's one thing we are so conscious of. We're so aware of the flow of money in and out of our life, in and out of our life. And when you get that, you get conscious of it. It's amazing how you can create nothing from something and something from nothing. It's absolutely <laughs> profound when you can, can realize that it's energy. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, there's so many times where we've been in networking events and it's all about being in a positive state because if you go in there and you're feeling like, hmm, you know, I don't really want to be here, you know, like this kind of sucks. If you're like down in your energy, people aren't going to be attracted to you. You're actually going to attract more of the people that are just like that who are not motivated to buy. Yeah. But if you go in and you're feeling confident, you're feeling certain, you're feeling like, how can I serve somebody today? How can I connect with one person that that really, really needs my help. If you come in from a, a position of service and a position that you are going to add value to somebody's life, yep. you will attract that person like a magnet. Increase their value. Increase yes. value. We, we come away from networking events so often. People are like, man, I love your guys' energy. You got to approach it with a high level of energy. You've got to approach it from your heart, not just like, I've got to be there for money. It's It's got to come from a, pay, a place commission of- Commission breath. Yeah, commission like breath. Like desperateness. <sighs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're like- I nice. need you to buy for me now. Nice to meet you. <laughs> There's the art of desperation. And everything That's not good. You say. No. And it's so obvious when no, people come from that you can state. Smell it. Yeah. Everybody in the the impasse in the room will and their breath smell is, you. Their breath is bad. It smells like dirty money. It's like those are money dirty. Isn't dirty. Those are dirty one dollar bills. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so, so, so the people that approach networking, they go, yeah, I don't really want to be here. They'll find other people in the group that don't, don't really want to be, be there. Here. I call them the Debbie Downers. Don't hang out with them. No offense, babe. No offense. I call them the Debbie Downers. You don't want to hang out with them. Zip it. Right? They're, it's, it's a negative group. You don't <laughs> want to be with that group. So you want to approach it with number one, charisma. Get your charisma up. Look, there are times that we have not had any sleep. We have said, okay, our morning started off rough. Whatever. Maybe there was something going on in our relationship. Life we gets in the way. That's all we'll say. <laughs> life, <laughs> life gets in the way. And we still find a way to get into state to either go do a training, whether it's a three-day event that we do, that we put on, or a seven-day event, or we got to get into a coaching session, or I got to go coach some corporate company and or make sure their sales team's delivering, or we go in front of a networking group. And we want to get into an empowered state. So you know what most people what do? do? You know what most people do? What? They're like, oh, I'm sick. I'm going to cancel. No, that's not the way to achieve and be at a high performance level. You if gotta you want to continue state. to have your your business and your entrepreneurship and the money flowing into your in your bank account, you got to do things that sometimes don't feel very good. Yeah, and sometimes it's maybe getting in front of a video and saying, you know, I don't really feel like doing a video. I don't feel like high energy right kind now. Kind of like today. But you know what? <laughs> you do it anyways, and that was and our, now I feel amazing. And that was our 2018 tagline. Our 2018 yeah. tagline was do it anyways. <laughs> And so like, even when you don't feel like doing it, you do it anyways. But here's the thing. There is a strategy to successful networking. And if you follow the strategy and you do it with the right mindset for successful communication, in fact, you want to master communication, absolute mastery in that level. When you do this, you'll actually have more people draw to you like a magnet and then you can start helping them by finding their problems and what their needs are to help them create solutions in their business, their life, their challenges. And then it's easy to close. It doesn't feel like closing. It feels like serving them. So one of the things that I find they get in the way of people having a positive outlook on networking is either they just have a negative point of view about it. Maybe they went to an experience and it wasn't really for them. And so what they do is they take that old experience and they bring it into the future events. Now, not all networking is the same. In fact, we're going to talk about on Wednesday how to choose specific networking events that are going to be the most profitable and the most win-win for you. So start thinking about that. Is it because if you have a block around networking, is it because you feel like there was something in the past where you didn't really have a great experience? Or maybe it was a time, maybe you have fear around public speaking or getting up in front of the pitch. Well, we're going to talk about that in future episodes. Maybe it's because you have social anxiety. And so what we're going to tell you today is how to get in control of your state, how to get in a powerful, successful, 
confident, certain, congruent, elevated emotional state that will shine through so that when you show up, people will be attracted to you like a magnet. <laughs> That's right. And that's what we do every time we get in before videos. This is what we do before we do trainings. Brandon and I are always using our tools, and it's Look, called anchoring. All top performers, athletes, professional, any professional athlete. Tony Robbins does it all the time. Before anybody that stage. speaks in front of thousands or hundreds of people has it gets into a, a peak state, yes. right? They get into this peak state where even if they were like, I'm not feeling on today, they still can get into it at the snap of their fingers and they know how to access that. So for some people it's putting on music, maybe when you're in the car, right before you're about to go in the room, um, you put on some really powerful booty shaking movie, music or maybe some um, you know, rock and roll, whatever your flavor is and you sing at the top of your lungs. Maybe some of maybe them, it's dancing yeah. for some of us, right? Sometimes Hannah? people I mean, like to shake it out and get some movement <laughs> through the body. I know some that of when us I'm like to dance it out in the morning. I know that when I'm in a negative, unresourceful state, if I if I move my body, like take a walk, then I get into a powerful state. Maybe it's working then, out in the morning. And then we also have our mental. So what we do in NLP is called anchoring. And that's what we're about to tell you and show you how um, is a powerful way to get into state by remembering a time in your past when you were super successful, super motivated, super fired up. And then you can get into a powerful state by squeezing your fist while you're in the peak of that state. And then you can recall it to where then you can fire it right before you go into that. Super simple. Yeah. We're basically linking a past memory yes. with a body part. Which with that's it. Yep. It's anchoring a body part. And at the same time of being in that event and feeling the emotions and feeling powerful and strong, we're linking it with a body part, like the stimulus response, whether it's we're touching it, whether we're anchoring it with our fist that we make. Either way, mm -hmm. we are linking that memory to the stimulus of, you know, on the body somewhere, like a like a fist, right? And when you do that, you're able to actually start to begin to feel it without even having to access the memory anymore. Now you just have to access that, that anchor. We call it an anchor or a trigger. And it's so simple. Most people, it's so easy, but it's so easy not to, to do, do it. it. And if you just do it, you get out of, you get out of this funk, the state that, that's, oh, I'm so down and out. And this is how you get out of it. But guess what? Most people are really good at how to get into a negative state, right? Well, that's just because they've learned how to anchor themselves in a negative state. They're really good at going down the neurological pathways of disempowerment. Because it's comfortable. What we're teaching you is how to go down the neurological pathways of empowerment and how to recall that at any given moment. It's, and that's simply anchoring. And so you can do this in your car right before you go in, or you can do it right now and then use it while you're in the car right before you go into networking or right before you walk through the door. It's up to you. All you got to do is remember, so if you would, just get into a comfortable state or a comfor comfortable place and remember a time when you felt totally motivated. Or totally confident, if yeah. confident resonates Whatever, with you. Whatever, you can pick a state. Can you remember a time you felt totally, totally confident. confident? Go back to that time now. Go down to Think that about specific it. time. Look down into it. Into your body. Feel it. See what you saw. See it. Hear what you heard and really feel, feel the feelings of being feel totally confident. Of feeling totally confident. See what you saw, hear what you heard, really feel the feelings Maybe of it was being a sports totally match. confident. Maybe it was something you used Maybe to be really great at and you did often. Yeah. Whatever it was, float down to that time. Go, Go right down. down into your side of your body. Feel feel what you saw, the emotions. hear what you heard, and really see feel the feelings of being totally confident. Hear what you hear. And then what you want to do when you feel that rush go through your body, when you feel that state starting to move through your body, then you want to apply it at the same time. Squeeze it. And you want to just do it differently than you would say normally make a fist. Yeah, right? you want to maybe do it like a little thumb in, like this. Maybe like, like that, this. or like this, yeah. or like this. You could do it however you do it, but do a fist differently. And as you do it, as you're feeling it, as you're going into that that emo that memory or that emotion, you're anchoring at the same time. So you're linking it. Yep. Yeah, it's so simple, super easy. This is elementary. Anyone can do this. Cool. So let's do it again. Let's do it with motivation. Because motivation, motivation sometimes you need your butt moving in motivated state before maybe. you go into the doorway. Yeah? Maybe you have to get motivated <laughs> to get to the networking. Event. Yeah, maybe you need to fire it to get your ass in the shower. <laughs> That's I right. know I've used it before for that because I wasn't motivated to get ready at all. No, no, no. Okay, so this is what we do for the motivation. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same script. Can you remember a time where you felt totally motivated? Totally motivated. Can you remember a specific time? Go back time? to that time. Go down into that time now 
See what you saw, hear what you heard, and really down feel into that time. the feelings of being totally motivated. See what you saw. And when you feel the, what you the heard. state going through your body, feel you want to squeeze your you fist feel. as you feel it and going through your body. And feel then when you feel the as state you're leaving it, your body, just allow your hand to release. It. And you feel like you're coming out of that yeah. emotion, you're not feeling it anymore, and then just go ahead and mm -hmm. release the anchor, release the trigger. Yeah. This stuff is so, so easy. powerful. It's powerful. And you may find, I don't know if any of you are. Um, anybody that's on here, uh, go ahead and put in the comments. If you already feel your state changing right now, just by doing this practice twice, you know, we do this in the NLP and business. We also teach you um, five different strategies, different types of strategies for anchoring, which is chain anchors and procrastination to motivation, all these cool mind hacks in the practitioner training. And it's interesting to see the energy level in the room after three or four times, people just start wanting to move and they're they're all excited and then you can see the energy of confidence coming through their body. The energy actually becomes pleasant in the room. Everybody's yeah. just we nice. We feel a difference. We're like, woo. <laughs> Talking to each other. Everybody's a little bit more friendly now. There's healthy communication. They don't have that stare like, duh, like a face. What do you think you're going to teach me? Uh, the angry bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> you see people when they process information. It's so amazing funny. how all of a sudden there's love and, yeah. love and enjoyment, happiness, yeah, yeah, yeah. excitement. Yeah. Motivation. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it one more time. Cool. Yeah. So let's choose... Um, uh, motivation. We did confidence. Confidence. Powerful. Maybe That's a time a when you one. felt totally powerful. Powerful. Can you remember? Okay, so okay. So think okay. about that. You don't. You don't have to think too hard, but just think about a time when you felt totally, totally powerful. powerful. Float down in that. Can you remember a specific time? A specific time. Now go back to that. Go time back to that now. time. Float down into your body. See, See what, what you saw. saw hear what you heard. Really feel, feel, the, feel feelings. the feelings of being totally powerful, and when you feel the feelings of being totally it powerful, as you're feeling it, feel the feel rush going through your body. Hear what you hear. See what you saw. Hear See what you heard. See. Really feel the feelings of feel feeling, totally feelings powerful. feeling totally powerful. Totally powerful. Totally powerful. Totally powerful. Totally powerful. Feel those feelings rushing through your body. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I feel totally different too. Yes. It's amazing how getting in the state. A simple mindset shift will change everything because your energy is going to attract people. I'm sure that every single one of you have been around people that have really low vibrational energy and you feel drained by them. I know we've all said this because we say this, we ask this in the trainings. Like, have you ever met someone you're like, hey, nice to meet you? And you're like, man. He gave me the creeps, or she really creeps me out. Yeah. Right? It was Or energetic. you just feel like almost after you leave that conversation, you feel drained. You feel better because there's was, some people that you have a conversation it was with negative. that you feel like you're lifted up. Right. So you want to be one of those people, especially because you're in sales. Hello. You want to be one of those people that leave the conversation. They're like, wow, I feel completely different in a positive way they will remember you we when we leave a networking event we leave an event anywhere we want to leave energy yes our energy right positive love. energy inspiration motivation empowerment persistence love yeah can you said that see. confidence whatever it is so lifted. think about that whether they buy from us or not like Doesn't our matter. goal is to change the state of everyone in the room's day so think about when you leave an event or you leave anywhere you go, think about the energy you're leaving there when you leave the, the place. Like what energy did you leave behind? Did you leave positive, healthy energy? Or was it, ah, I was in a funk and you're like, screw it, right? They get what they get. So think about that because that's huge and we always do. Just remain aware of that. It's It definitely goes a long way when it comes to networking and connecting with people. Cool. So, so awesome. on Wednesday, um, we're going to talk about how to uh, get your mindset right of assuming the sale. And then on Friday, I miss, I was um, incorrect when I said, we're going to talk about choosing specific types of networking specific types that of networking. is going to be the most powerful for you and your niche. How to be consistent. Yes. How to get what you want out of networking, set realistic goals and get the right outcome. Yes. All of this to come. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you found this useful, please share it um, with Comment. your friends. Anybody share it with someone who it. could use some help in the arena of networking. We and if you're watching the replay. For them to watch this. Make sure that you watch it from the beginning. And we also have uh, the beginning episodes in our Jaeger training community. Or you can find us on YouTube where you can find all our videos in the same place. Like and share. Yes. Thank have a great guys. evening. See you guys. Bye.